Hi guys, it is Christy. I um, want to make some journal starter kits. I don't know really what else to call them. Um, but basically it's a folder made out of a 12 by 12 and then um, there are cutting guides for the remaining um, tickets, tags, pockets, tucks, etc. If you remember I made these cutting guides. Um, looks like I called it a folder journal kit. Okay, and we do two 12 by 12s of this, and we do one 12 by 12 of this one and this one. And if you want a copy of this um, cutting guide, it will be on my Facebook page. If you are not a member of my Facebook page, it's in groups. It is a closed group, and it is Burlap Daily Bread no and um, and if you have a problem with that just let me know but um, it'll ask you a couple questions and then I'll let you in and then this will be in the file section so I had a friend of mine um, who bought one of these at our Christmas boutique for her daughter and her daughter wanted another one she wants to have I guess she keeps a bunch of different journals and so she asked for a new one with lined paper so I do have some lined paper here. Uh, it's just lined on one side and blank on the other side. And this is just eight and a half by 11 paper. So I will also upload this file because I'll tell you, I had a heck of a time trying to find something that would just print lined paper. Um, it would print shadows or it would have a red line around it or it would have a red line down the middle or whatever. So I finally just said, you know what, let me just make my own and and um, we'll go from there. So that's what we're going to do today. I have, um, this is the um, Simple Life by Jen Hadfield. And so I've gone through and I've just randomly pulled five 12 by 12 sheets out. Um, making sure there were no duplicates, of course. But um, I've done five of the folders already. Isn't that cute with the bicycles? Um, and yeah, these are gonna be really fun. So I've done those, but I wanna do this one with you and then we'll do the cut aparts and then I'm gonna let uh, Emma choose which one she wants for her daughter. But um, she just said floral. So I thought, well, I'll just, I got this kit and this will be perfect for that because there's lots of florals. So I want this to be the cover, so I'm going to start with this one. I've cut off the strip, and I'm going to show you what I got here. I have a bunch of strips because I just cut them all off, and I, I pulled out enough to make, I guess, 35 sheets to make seven journals. And I have all these strips from the last Traveler's Notebooks that I made. So I think what I'm going to do is make some ruffle with these. Um, and this is something I got from Natasha. I think it was Natasha at Treasure Books. I might be confused, but I'll, I'll, I'll link it below because it turns out really cute. In fact, let me show you what I did last time. I made some of these and just using some strips so I've got a bunch but this is how it turns out you just put the one paper on top of the other one and just crinkle it and zigzag down the middle and you've got this um, big roll of, of ribbon so I need to remember this and use it I keep forgetting I have that in here I think there was another one but maybe I've maybe I've used that and what I was thinking was this would be also um, great to just cut in small pieces and use for a base of a paperclip cluster or something like like so or a tiny little clip on the corner of a pocket or I mean the, the possibilities are limited. Endless. Okay. It's gonna say limit limited. No, limitless. <laughs> Alright, so here's what I want to do for the folder. I just dropped paper all over the floor. Okay, so let me pull out Okay, so this is 12 by 12. I have the top um, 
you know, if there's an orientation. This one is a random pattern, so it doesn't really matter which way is up. But if you have a directional pattern, you want to put your top at the top. I'm going to score at six inches. I'm going to I'm going to score at three eighths from this side. I'm going to turn it all the way around because it's really difficult to get 3 8 over there. And I'm going to do 3 8 again from this side. And then taking the top and putting it at the left, I want to score at 8 and 3 quarters. Now, why 8 and 3 quarters and why 3 8 Because normally I will do a 9 by 6. However, um, because of the folder method that we're using, I wanted to be able to put eight and a half by eleven paper and just fold it in half and stick it in here and not have to worry about trimming the ends. Well, the original pattern had half inch on the side, and I believe she did she might have done four or or three and a half on the bottom. But I just wanted to make sure that I didn't have to trim this when I fold it in half. I'll be able to stick it right in there. So just changing that one eighth on either side here and making this eight and three quarter allows me to do that. So, all right, that's all I need for the scoring board. So I'm going to fold the bottom up. I'm doing this carefully so I don't tear through. And because some of the card stocks are, um, they don't like to be folded. I don't know. And this one is kind of thick, but I think I think it's okay. I haven't had any issues with it yet. Okay, so we have these side little pieces. Let's go ahead and fold those. The easiest way to, to fold something that you've scored like this is to just start in the middle and then slide it out. Okay, so now what we want to do... Let me get a pencil so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to cut this piece off here. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to come in at an angle here and then I am going to cut on the left side. This line's not going to be straight, but you get the idea. On the left side of that score mark. Okay? And then the same thing over here. I'm going to come in just at a slight angle and then trim this off right inside the score line. Now I am going to do this a tad different than I did last time. So let me get and um, these pencil lines aren't going to show because they'll be inside the pocket. There we go. Get this side. Okay, now I am keeping all of these. Why? I don't know, but I'm going to find something to do with them. I thought perhaps they might be cute, maybe layered, um, two or three of them behind a word or some such. I don't know. We'll see. Um, all right, so I also need to fold this back in half, and then from this three and a quarter inch, or if you're measuring this way, eight and three quarter inch uh, score line, we want to cut from this corner, this is the uh, six inch score line going this way. We want to cut from this corner to about half inch that way. Now you can do that on your scoreboard, but I'm just going to start here and cut. Okay, and that's, that's the piece you cut off, just like that. And what that allows us to do is have a flat pocket. Okay? Now, last time, all I did was fold this in and glue it, and then glue this on top. Well, what that does is it gives you this size pocket. Let me get my ruler. So, you've got this glued down, okay? And it gives us this side pocket. If you want the whole pocket, then there's just a little fix you can do. So, all you have to do is fold this in and fold this up and take your score tool and just 
square little line right here. Okay, that gives us a cutting line. So what we'll do is take, and I know you probably can't see this, but I'm going to cut, let's see if you can see better that way. I'm going to cut on that line, and then I'm going to come up just about an eighth of an inch and cut out that little, um, a little triangle piece. Just a tiny, tiny little triangle piece. Okay, so let's do that on the other side. I'm going to fold this up, bring this up, and wherever this edge is, I'm going to score a little mark there. And then I am going to, <laughs> this is easier when I'm not trying to get it on camera, um, find that score line. There it is. I don't know if you can see it in this pattern, but I'm going to cut straight in and then I'm going to come to the top part of the folder and just maybe an eighth of an inch and cut out that little triangle. And usually it'll just hang there, but you can see how small that, that triangle piece is. Okay? So that's, <clears throat> excuse me, that is all for this. Now we just need to glue it together. So this piece we're going to glue down flat. And I'm going to do both sides and let that get a little bit tacky because it does stay better, uh, less glue, and if you let it get tacky. You have to make sure the glue is coming out of the bottle. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll fold it down. Oh, look, see, it's already stuck. That doesn't usually happen. Sometimes I'll just tack it down and it'll pop back up and what it does is it, it gives tacky on both sides. So, fold that one down. Wow. Maybe it's warmer in here than usual. Okay, so those are down. Now these, because we've left them not glued down, will give us the whole pocket area. So I'm going to put the glue on top of this area here. And like I said, sometimes less glue helps. Um, you could do this with glue stick if you have a really good glue stick. Um, I don't find that glue stick stays. It seems like when I start using it and it gets dried up, it just kind of pops apart. So, okay, so all I'm going to do now, get that glue up. don't want that on the cover, is fold this down and fold this up like that. Anything that oozes out, and you see how this one kind of popped up a little bit. Push that back down. Just making sure that everything stays where I want it. Alright, so let's turn this around and get this pocket up. <laughs> All the glue is coming off my hands. Alright, let's get these out. Okay, just taking my little tool, you could use whatever, just so I don't get glue all over my fingers, and folding that down. And because we glued in, or because we cut inside the score line, this, um, this has a little bit, maybe a sixteenth of an edge there, um, but it's not noticeable. This one looks like it's right along the edge over here. This one's pretty close. This one's a little less, but that's okay because the pattern is um, is going to cover that up. Okay. So there we go. There is your folder. Now, uh, in this book, there are uh, pages that have um, little cut-aparts. Um, I believe they're like three by four or something like that. So I will come back and decorate this and um, and we will do the cover. But that is the folder 
um, portion of this. And then um, I will come back and we'll do the the cutting of the inserts. But basically this journal is going to, I'm, I'm going to sew the pages in um, and then we're going to have uh, two full pockets of belly bands, tickets, banners, uh, tuck spots, pockets, tags, did I already say that? Um, you name it. Everything that you would want to insert in your journal is going to be uh, in there. And so I'm going to be doing seven of these so that Emma has a choice um, to which one she wants to choose. I am only going to be putting this paper in here. Now you can see when I line these up, in my, make sure I'm in, that this leaves a very, very small border around. But that's what I'm looking for. So I'll be sewing these by machine down the middle. Um, and whoever has this will have a blank side and a line side on every one. Um, if, you, if you want to adhere the pockets and tucks and tags, etc. Um, personally, I would probably put them on the blank page. Um, but you could easily put them here. The tickets could be glued to a corner to tuck things in. All kinds of stuff. So, But we will be doing that in the next video. So, um, thanks for watching guys. I will, um, I will be back.